Proud day for you with the beginning of the building of the new stand. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel pretty good actually. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's been a long time in the in the making. Uh, over a year's hard work, uh, both in the planning and also raising the funds to achieve it as well. When the club moved here, um, there was always a plan to increase the capacity, but <laughs> how realistic was that at the time? Did you feel like it was quite a big hurdle to overcome? Yeah, well, we 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 knew straight away that uh, we needed to do something because from that very first match against Sheffield United, people couldn't see the football, which was a real problem for us. Uh, so we knew it. We started off with some small schemes, thing how it, and then we realised, well, what's the point of spending money on lots of little small schemes? We let's do it properly, um, and that's when we got the idea to uh, attract uh, funding from the Football Stadium Improvement Fund. What are the benefits of this new stand other than just the increased capacity? In reality, the increased capacity was the, the least of our uh, concerns. Uh, the big, the big reason for doing it was was twofold. Well, two, two reasons. Firstly, sight lines, so if people can see the match and people can get a seat they want to see. But more importantly than that, was to keep people dry if the weather's not very good. Uh, we we lose, we can lose three or four hundred people off our gate on a match day if it's raining. So. Uh, that affects our income, that affects the profitability of the football club. So that was a real must that we had to sort that problem out. How are you feeling today knowing that um, the Flamingoland Stadium is, as of today, getting bigger? Yeah, we're delighted to be asked down today to uh, celebrate the groundbreaking ceremony for the next key stage development of uh, Scarborough Athletic Stadium. We've been involved from the story right from the start when the club was in the wilderness in Bridlington and finally came back to the time where it belongs. And... It's been a great journey. In my schoolboy imagination, when we did the five-year deal, that would have got us back to League Two. But obviously we've hit a road bump this season, but um, a good professional performance and we should be strong next year. So I'm going to need to extend the contract by a year to see us into League Two. Our plan is to have it ready for our first home league game of the season. Uh, we're pretty confident that we can achieve that. Um, yeah, we want, we want the fans to support us again next season. Uh, if you think that at the end of last season we, we got promoted, which was the highest league position we'd ever been in um, and this season disappointed in that we had that mid-season blip but we've ended the season well and uh, we've ended the season 15 places higher than we did last season so again the highest position the club's ever finished in so we're moving forward and building this stand shows that we're moving forward off the pitch just as much as we're moving forwards on it and it's, the two have to work together. It's great to hear the ambition that you have for the club because obviously a lot of people here at the club have ambition too but, but it's great to hear that you do and you are very ambitious for, for the club. Yeah, why not? You know, it's, it's a great facility that the crowds have been tremendous and uh, the footballing results are getting there as well so a good professional performance this year and all to play for next year and, and on we go. Why not dream? And, and personally, supporting Scarborough Athletic in this way, with the you know the, the the stadium being named after Flamingo Land, how proud does it make you? Not only because the t the club is doing well, but just to, to be able to support you know Scarborough Athletic in in the way that you do. Well, we've always I'm, I was brought up in Scarborough. I've always had a soft, soft spot for the town. Um, my father was involved in Scarborough Football Club and its old guys, and the company's always had an association with football, but from grassroots level through to uh, championship League as well so um, any local club that we can help especially one that's as dear to our hearts as Scarborough of course when we got the call we were willing to help we uh, we got the checkbook out and the way that the sponsorship contract worked was the money could be front loaded for the right capital expenditure expenditure project which is what we're here today to celebrate which is phase two of the development and building the neck the uh, the stand for future generations and finally just to remind us uh, just remind us again about how the stand will, will look there's a mixture of terracing and seating isn't there yeah there's, there's a central section on the halfway line with 336 seats now some of that will be available for people to uh, access on the match day's open seating uh, some of it will be allocated for season ticket holders and some of it will be allocated for uh, a family section. Either side of that there will be two t terrace sections uh, which will each hold 430 people. Um, so in total you're talking about 1,100 people on one side of the ground. So it will increase the capacity to 2,800-ish. We've got to wait and see... Uh, what the official capacity is uh, given once we get the safety certificate because although the ground doesn't need a safety certificate the size of this new stand means that the stand needs a safety certificate so that's one of the hurdles we've got to get over once it's built and we've allowed uh, 
a few weeks at the end of the project for all those snagging issues and to get the safety certificate. So we're fairly confident we'll be ready in time. Exciting day with the new stand uh, starting to be built from today. There are other changes um, as a result of this, other changes that are happening as well. Um, what's, that, what's happening? Yeah, the supporters club have agreed to fund the increase in disabled spaces for the main stand up from four as existing up to 12. Um, that will allow disabled people to turn up on the day. At the moment we're having to take pre-bookings for things like wheelchair spaces and from next season people will be turn up, able to turn up with their carer on the day. So obviously the nature of things like disability is you don't know how you are in the morning until you get up. So it will um, enable fans to turn up on the day and enjoy the match experience. The new stand, that should make things a little bit easier if you do get you know large away fan can, you know, tra travelling support. Yeah, the, 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 there's two parts to that. Uh, we'll be able to allocate some seating for away fans. Uh, we'll have a terrace for away fans and we'll have an area inside the ground now that we can put uh, toilets and uh, catering facilities in. So it makes segregation so much easier. Uh, it'll be easier to, for our stewards to manage that as well. And like the rest of us fans, you'll be hoping for promotion next season. We've uh, come close to making the playoffs this time, but you'll be, like everyone else, hoping that we can maybe go up at the first time, of, you know, uh, automatically, I should say, next season. Well, we're all dreamers, aren't we? We want to get promoted every year, but I guess this year was about uh, catching our breath and uh, starting next season off really strongly, and I'm sure they'll do that. And final question, we've got the digger here. How handy are you when it comes to uh, digging holes? I'm absolutely useless at anything involving <laughs> manual labour. These hands are for paper, not for uh, not for diggers, I'm afraid. No, I'm useless. Uh, are you going to be getting your, uh, your spade out yourself, Trevor? Well, Dave's golden spade. <laughs> 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 no, I'll, I'll, leave it, I'll leave it to the experts. There's a, there's a guy that's really good at driving a digger out there, so I'll leave him to it.